and a Maverick. Okay. John's Organic Coffee. Is it Kara? It could be. Yeah, it is. Well, that man boarding the bus is going to make a lot of fuss that an android just stepped out. Shelter? Can we stay here? No. You're gonna be okay? Cold? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Take her hand at least. Find shelter for the night. All right. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Of course not. There's a motel and a coffee. Won't open before morning. Crap. Feel better in no time. Change clothes. Are you asleep? Look, as Kara, Alice is my number one priority. Give me a second. I will steal the clothes. Let me just read this. Oh, the bees! No, not the bees! Pollinating bees officially extinct. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute of Endangered Species, GUYS, announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that the wild bees are now officially extinct, leaving specimen only exist only in captivity. Oh, that's fine then. The bee numbers have been ravaged but in recent decade by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that the CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites and pollutions. Uh, the consequences of the catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supply, and most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of the news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat rely on pollination of some kind. The result in famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. 
Cyber Life in, in cooperation with guys, have come forward with a plan on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches such as Detroit Urban Farms, currently experimenting with modified strain of bee produced in captivity, but there is no guarantee they will thrive. Time to face the music. For younger generations, watching concerts in VR has become the norm, and who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show for the best seat in the house? It's cheap, safe, and no hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kosuke Music have launched a campaign to bring back old school concerts with live audience in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, N NKM sponsorship spokesperson, sponsorship got fucking explains. Oh, he's gonna be like some surfer man. Man, the culture of going to to like live concert is like a thing of the past, man. But we really want to bring it back. Real music is like when it's vibrating through your soul, you know. Surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Break the Wall will perform will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a, a live audience is getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. The hype, the applause, the screams, you just don't get them sitting on your sofa. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals which should bring music to fans ears. Okay. Okay. There's nothing. Damn it. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. You're right. Okay, fine, Alice. We'll You're listen right. to you. a lot of things to do it's like jaywalking okay so this is the motel a motel looks like we found a place to stay low fees no androids allowed though drugstore Alright, that place is open 24 hours. Let's go ask for help. What the hell does that say? Check parking lot. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in. I will. I think the house is the best option. Alice? Alice? What are you doing? Alice. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Tonight. Well, at least he gave us something. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit. I'll take you to the uh, to the twenty-four hours place.
Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Oh no! Steal, shoplift, or rob the cashier. Oh, I've got. If I am going to steal that. Who's Alice? Alice, I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? But why? Please. Alice, just trust me. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. I got 50 bucks. Oh, go run. Else will be going. Uh, look, I'm sorry, okay? You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. What are we gonna do? Return the money? Look, we got some money at least. It can get you a nice warm place. Forty dollars. Got it. We're not going in. I can't. We can't, Alice. They'll never give a room to an android. We have to get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Alice, I'm gonna. I'm gonna justify stealing that that those clothes, okay? Alice, this is for for the greater good. I just want you to be comfortable.
Don't wake up, please. Sir? Sir? Look. Just change, okay? Look, now we can live in a motel. And now they suspect an android. Okay. And we got $50. Well, $10 now. Archer. Can I see your driver's license? Uh, no license. I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. At least there's no sleazy, um, sleazy motel owner. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Ellis. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. I think that's what's important, like. Twenty-eight, right? I wonder how long like an Android's batteries like last. Here, give me your coat. Collect and pit and dry Alice's clothes. Close it all the way. Hang on a sec, Alice. I'm just going to check something. At least there's a bath here. Hey, Alice. 
Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Oh, okay. I, I thought... Uh, I, I thought we were going to a darker place than this. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. Oh. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Protect you forever. Will we be together forever? I hope so. Forever. I hope so, Alice. There, there. Hug her. We'll get some sleep. You should sleep now. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? Oh my god, that's... They've got like cloth physics on the blankets. Well, what else? What am I going to do? Kiss! Get in bed. Keep her company. Take his shoes off, Kara, you. Family. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Steal discreetly. Oh wow. Oh wow.